Oh, Jason Anru infrared debate. That sounds awesome. I want to see the part of that where like um infrared like hatches like this random conspiracy theory that no one has ever heard of before ever where he like talks about how like um the the US wasn't imperialist. It was just a normal everyday republic and then British agents formed the deep state and forced it to be imperialist. Deep state. Like using the word deep state is fucking hilarious. Accentuate the contradiction between them and the American deep state. Oh man, he sounds exactly like a Q and honor. Here it is. This is an amazing moment in history, okay? Let's watch. How do we know that they What the fuck do you think I don't know more means? What do you think that the whole resurgence They're, they're not, not asking for that. They're okay, not asking yeah, for okay, that. Yeah, okay. So you're saying that they're not they're not asking They for are not asking for all Okay. America. And I didn't say they were asking for all land back. This is the third time. So what land do they want back that happened. must lead to the destruction of the I republic? I don't know what it is. The exactly republic. That the Republic. What the fuck is... Who, who calls the USA the destruction of the Republic? Oh, no. We, have, we must uphold the US state. We must continue the US state. It's so important. You can't, you can't destroy the Republic. What is this? Who is he? This, this guy is a Marxist. We, we must protect the, the US Republic. We must uphold the Republic. I don't want, want to abolish the state. I don't want a revolution. I don't want to replace the state with a new one. I want to defend the Republic. So it, yeah, it really does sound like Star Wars. That they want? Why I must it lead to the destruction of the Republic? Then why must it lead to the destruction of the Republic? Are, are you like a fucking like Republican senator as, as Palpatine is forming the Empire? What is going on here? Because the Republic is bad. I don't think you've noticed that. More morality that means nothing oh, to I me. More morality that means nothing to me. I guarantee you this guy has an, an idea of what good and bad is, and he's just saying, that's morality, it means nothing to me. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the idea that some things are good and some things are bad. I'm sorry, a, 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 an empire built on imperialism, slavery, and genocide is me being more... The Republic you know was founded on the basis of seceding from the empire. I mean, I went over this already early, earlier in the stream. But the U.S. was not founded on the basis of seceding from the empire. It was founded on the basis of settlers wanting to have their own empire. The British, there was fear that the British Empire would potentially abolish slavery. The, the British Empire actively was trying to limit Western settlement, Western encroachment onto Indian lands. I can, we're not talking about the end of an empire. We're talking about the creation of a new empire that was a radicalization of the empire that it was previously a part of. And he's going to go here and be like, no, the, the U.S. wasn't an empire. The, the U.S., you know, split from the empire. So it can't be an empire, even though it literally, literally, like, the founding fathers of the USA explicitly outlined the fact, were open with the fact, nice burp, like, they were open with the fact that, you know, we're making an empire here. We want a coast-to-coast -coast empire where white people can have tons of land. Who cares about the fact that people are already living there? You know, where white people can take, take land, a, every individual white family can have a ton of land to themselves and pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, the US was already trying to establish itself as, like, the, the, the imperial hegemon in the Americas within about two or three decades after the Declaration of Independence and after the, or after the end of the Revolutionary War, rather, through the Monroe Doctrine. So, like, it wasn't an empire. It was forced to become an empire by the British, is what he's about to say. You the the Republic was founded the on the US base... The US is an empire! It has become one. It also become... It has become one. It literally was one from the very beginning. Because we have allowed the British uh, intelligence to conquer our country. Empire, so we have allowed the British intelligence to conquer our country? What the fuck? What? We have allowed the British intelligence. James Bond has infiltrated the U.S. government and forced the U.S. the U.S. government to become imperial, to become an empire. Okay, they didn't want to become an empire. They were forced to do so by the British intelligence. MI6, James Bond. Get with the fucking program. We're inventing conspiracy theories in real time here. Therefore, it doesn't matter. Well, the why is his house like just a bunch of fucking boxes, man? That's worse than me. Like the this is definitely the sort of guy who sleeps on a fucking mattress in an empty room on the floor. The British, the British ruling, the British ruling class conquered our deep state and our country. And 
conquered our deep state. Became our ruling class. Oh, so yeah, we became an empire. Became our ruling class? Like from the very fucking beginning, like the pronouncement of the American Republic was from settlers who were British or at least with firm British origin. So is that some sort of conspiracy? Like did the UK secretly send fucking like Thomas Jefferson and George Washington? to nefariously form the U.S. empire in the deep state? There's no way to make sense of this. Okay. But that's not how the Republic was founded. No, but that's what it is. That's what it became. That's what it is, and that's what it was always- That's, that's how it was founded. It, it's not what it became, it's how it was- Like, the British intelligence deep state. Like, it's so fucking incoherent that there's no way to process what he's even trying to say. So do you think it's an American people's national tradition to be an empire? Yes, literally from the very beginning, it was an empire. When our national tradition is, to, yeah. our, our national tradition is to secede from empires. So if you leave the the British Empire to make your own empire, explicitly because the British Empire was limiting your capacity to do imperialism a bit more than you would have liked it to, that means that like you're not an empire. Our national tradition is to secede from empires, not to be our national tradition. He sounds like an even dumber PragerU video. Incredible. Imagine watching this and thinking that you're watching someone say something that makes sense. This is like the the dangest Vosh. Really? Because I could have sworn there was stealing of Mexico, the constant supporting of uh, endless wars to steal <laughs> territory that were highly supported by the American people. Even if they weren't supported by the American people, it's still a reality. Okay. I'm sorry. But they were supported by the American people because the people leading the American uh, people were, as Lenin understood, was a labor aristocracy, and were, um... What? The people leading the American people were a labor aristocracy? Um, petty... What is going on here? What the fuck? ...bourgeois elements aligned to U.S. imperialism that were leading them, and Lenin so didn't... Working, Lenin working didn't just say that you should concede the battlefield to those elements. What? What the fuck is this? Is... Holy shit. What is going on here? This is incredible. Okay. I'm sorry. But they were supported by the American people because the people leading the American uh, people were, as Lenin understood, was a labor aristocracy and were um, petty bourgeois elements aligned to U.S. imperialism that were leading them. And Lenin so, didn't... Oh, that literally means nothing. You cannot respond to it. It doesn't mean anything. So he's saying, like, the American people were a labor aristocracy. Okay. And there were petty bourgeois elements aligned to U.S. imperialism that was leading them. And he's, he's talking about, like, like the, the, the U.S., you know, War of Independence here, right? So what the fuck does that mean? Petty bourgeois elements aligned to U.S. imperialism. And were um, petty bourgeois elements aligned to U.S. imperialism that were leading them. And so how is it possible that petty bourgeois elements were aligned to U.S. imperialism when, like, before the U.S. even existed, apparently, yet... The U.S. is a republic that has nothing to do with imperialism, and it was actually a break from imperialism. Trying to understand this is absolutely painful. Lenin so, didn't, working, Lenin working didn't just say that you should concede the battlefield to those elements. You said communists should lead the American people in contrast to those elements. Manifest destiny. What about it? You're, you're basically arguing it. Well, Manifest Destiny included many injustices against indigenous people, I agree, but Which that's not according all to it. You are I mean, Manifest Destiny was literally like the doctrine that the U.S. should conquer all of North America through violent means. And it originated, like, not in, under the name Manifest Destiny, but it was like all of the Founding Fathers were in agreement that the U.S. should do that. You know, whether, whether they take that land from Indians or from other European powers, from France, from Spain, from Britain, or even from other independent settler colonial states like Mexico. They were all in agreement that the US should essentially do whatever it takes to expand. Yet yeah, it's not imperialist, apparently. Injustices against indigenous people. We're talking about literal invasions of their land. The, anne the annexations of their land, and them essentially being, being told that they have two choices, be be mass murdered on the spot or get the fuck out move further west and and then when the settlers got to them when they were forcibly moved f f f further west the settlers were like oh get the fuck out move further west so we're gonna kill you again it was literally genocide injustices are not significant today they may be but you have to go on a case-by-case -case basis uh 
a case by case basis. You know, they 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 are relevant. That is the basis of America. You have an idealized version of what America is, detached from the material reality of what. It Imagine being being less grounded in reality than Jason Unruh. Imagine that Jason Unruh is is the voice of reason against you. Incredible stuff here. This is unprecedented. This is amazing. It has been. How is that? It has always been and what okay. it will always I was, be. I just don't think morality is the basis and essence of material reality. That's all. No, but slavery is a material thing that happened. So is genocide and land. So, okay. These are material things that happened, which you are trying to. I agree that they, they don't matter. They materially happened. I didn't contest that. No, but you're, I, you're essentially your position. I want them to talk about this, this idea that the, the British intelligence MI5 James Bond infiltrated the USA and forced to become imperialist, and that the USA was actually a, a Republican project, and it was never imperialist until the evil British intelligence James Bond MI6 MI5 came in and forced it to be imperialist. I want him to expand on that. That's what I'm here for. So, because they happened, that means that's... That's all material reality is. What the fuck is going on here, man? Now. Uh, it doesn't have. What is even going on here? What do you mean by basis? Elaborate. That's what built America. So elaborate. That's like you need you need to elaborate. He needs to elaborate it to him how America was founded, like what material basis that it was founded. And I mean, I'm just reading the transcript here, and everything said here is correct. Historical fact. America exists physically on a space that was stolen by slaughtering off the population that lived there and then brought a whole another population from Africa to do work on it. Why okay, do so, I have so to now how that? is it the basis right now? Because They were explicitly talking about their foundation a second ago, right? The foundation of the U.S. He said, oh, the U.S. was founded as a republic. No, no, it, it was never imperialist until the British MI5 agents came in. And now, right, like, now he's, he's not even dealing with that. His, his idea of the basis being wrong. And he just moves towards, oh, can you explain how is it the basis right now? How isn't the basis right now? The basis is that. The basis is the founding. That's what the basis is. The equivalent of this would be like some guy saying, no, no, we shouldn't abolish the, the fucking Tsarist state and establish the USSR. Instead, we should take the Tsarist state and like, you know, take it as it is and reform it. But, you know, you can't just abolish our Russian traditions, man. You can't just abolish it and create an, an entirely new state. Because that's what built up America. So how is that the basis now? It is the basis because that's the... Th it's still on the fucking land. America still has its wealth due to slavery. This guy's just like straight up denying history here. This is incredible. I love it. Foundation. Is a foundation the past or is a foundation something that exists in the present? That is like literally a meaningless fucking phrase. Foundations don't exist in the present. Everything's different now, man. Like this, this guy and Borsch agree on a lot of things, honestly, in this regard. Like, you know, basically what they agree on here is it's ours now. Deal with it. You were conquered, deal with it, it's ours now. Conquest is a legitimate form of um of state formation. It's the same it's the same thing, right? Like if the Nazis had managed to keep territory for Germany, two hundred years later, this guy in war should be like, you know, it's theirs now, deal with it. I'm talking about today, I'm not talking about the past. Fuck the past. Actually it's something that exists in the present too, because that's what built it up. So how does it exist? Yeah, it's also an explicitly Zionist argument too. Like, you know, where we conquered it militarily and we've managed to hold it militarily for the past 70 years. So now it's ours. That's just how it is. You know, we won. We conquered it. Deal with it. Base Zionist guy here, using the same fucking sorts of arguments as Zionist. Conquest is a legitimate, is a legitimate form of state formation. Just in the present is my question. America's privileged position in the world. And not even, even if it wasn't privileged but position in the world. It literally exists on stolen land. What part of that are you not getting? I know you keep repeating these moral indignation no, mantras. Oh that is moral. Like, is theft not a material thing? Is the transfer of land from one population to another through conquest not a material, you know, a material reality? Like something that literally happens materially? Material, material, material. God, man. But I fail to see the significance. Is, oh, I, you, I fail to see the significance. Just... I, I'm too- I'm a fucking moron who doesn't understand this, therefore, that's it, that's- that's the argument.
I talk a lot about American exceptionalism. This is an excellent example of it. Like, e even some guy who's like this massive fucking dang dangest, who like talks about how evil American imperialism is, is still gonna go to bat for the US as some sort of incredibly, you know, worthy project that must be protected uh, against the, the, the evil um, indigenous land claims and stuff. We must protect the American Republic. That's American exceptionalist brain there. And he shares it with like, you know, Vosh and all those other streamer morons. Hey, you just can't today. get over how oh, much- Literally, uh, literally, literally, exist. wait. You can't he literally makes, makes the- you, it, It's ours now, deal with it. He does that, he does that. It's ours now, deal with it. History doesn't matter, it's ours now. Deal with it. Well, well, land theft doesn't exist. You it's can't, you just can't today. get over how much you're outraged about something that happened hundreds of years ago. And you can't get over trying- Literally, literally. It's ours now. Deal with it. You know, there, there, there's, there's no words for this. It speaks for itself. I don't need to say anything. Straight up, in agreement with, like, um, fascist racists who hate indigenous people, who despise them, who want to whitewash Amer or ignore American history, who want to whitewash the material reality behind the founding of the US and other such set settler colonial states. Perfect fucking example here that speaks for itself of the worthless American exceptionist brain. This is why I'm, I don't consider any sort of, um, that there's any validity to engaging with Americans on points like this. They just literally cannot think like human beings. There's something wrong with them, fundamentally wrong with them. Like, that, like they're not coming from a position that you can argue with. They're coming from an emotional position where, like, you know, they have this desperate nationalistic need to believe in, in the idea of American exceptionalism, to believe that the U.S. is something special that absolutely must be upheld and perpetuated at any cost, no matter what, no matter how bad it is, no matter how much, how many terrible things it's done, no matter how, no matter what is what the material realities of its founding and it being built are, that obviously are still the basis of its state of the state today. This so-called republic that must be protected because that's just where they're from and it's what they've been told is true. So they absolutely must believe it. And if you say. You know, if you disagree, well, you've just been brainwashed by the British James Bond agents who were sent into the deep state in order to force the USA to become imperialist. It's that simple. This idea that the US was good in the, you know, there's something good about the, the past of the US that must be taken as the basis for something in the future. They just simply cannot admit that, no, there, there is nothing good there. There isn't. There's nothing good there. There's nothing worth salvaging there. And when I say there's nothing worth salvaging, by the way, I'm talking about the U.S. as like a project, okay? I'm not saying, like, the U.S. land has a bunch of people who are unsalvageable. I'm saying that the U.S. the USA is an abstract entity created by human beings. It's not a thing that actually physically exists, okay? The second that the people living there stop imagining that the USA exists, it doesn't exist anymore. Basically, the U.S. The U.S. Um, was infiltrated by agents of the British Empire to force it to become imperialist, and that, it's that simple. God, I, I hate the British agents in the deep state, man. I can't stand them.